In this video, we will show you the basics of using iTIC Mobile from One Call Concepts. iTIC Mobile is a new version of iTIC that has been optimized for use on your smartphone. To get started, first log into iTIC using your smartphone's web browser. When looking at the main menu, click the button labeled iTIC Mobile. On the next page, you will find a series of instructions with two buttons at the bottom. First, click the Save button. This will allow your phone to store your contact information. Then click Continue. This will bring you to the iTIC Mobile login screen. This is where you will create an icon on your smartphone's desktop for quick and easy access to iTIC Mobile. If you are using an iPhone, you can set the desktop shortcut by first clicking the button in the center of the Safari control panel, located at the bottom of the screen. Then click the button labeled Add to Home Screen. Choose a name for your shortcut, then click Add. You can now access iTIC Mobile with a single click. Enter the same login and password that you normally use to access iTIC. If you are using an iPhone, be sure that the first letter of your login is not capitalized, as this will prevent you from accessing iTIC Mobile. If you clicked the Save button earlier, this should be the only time you need to enter your login and password for iTIC Mobile. Click Next and you will be brought to the iTIC User Information section of your first ticket. From here, the ticket entry process will feel very similar to the desktop version of iTIC. Both the iTIC User Information and Excavator Information sections will be pre-filled with the information stored in your iTIC account. The next page is Contact Information and Excavation Information. You can access the profile stored on your iTIC account by clicking the Select Profile drop-down menu. Otherwise, you can enter the information manually. As with the desktop version of iTIC, the keyword auto search function will provide a list of potential matches as you type. Clicking Next will bring you to the Location Information section. Enter the job's location information just as you would on any normal locate request. The keyword auto search function will also work in both the street and intersecting street fields. Clicking Next will bring you to the Map It section. With iTIC Mobile, you have access to all four map views that are normally available in the desktop version of iTIC. As well as Google Street View. If iTIC finds the address you have entered, the Change Shape and Change Size buttons should be available and can be used to cycle through a list of computer-generated polygons. You can also hand-draw your polygon by first clicking the Clear button and then tapping the screen where you would like to place the corners of your polygon. To adjust your polygon, simply click and hold on one of the corner points, drag it to the desired location, and release. When you are done with your mapping, click the Next button and you will be brought to the Work to Begin Date screen. Clicking Next again will bring you to the Utility Notification List, which will display a complete list of the utilities being notified by your ticket. At this point, clicking Next will release your ticket to the call center for review. You will also be presented with a ticket number. You can now begin a new ticket by clicking Next Ticket.